Okay, so in this question, we have these equations to balance. Okay, so you can use hit and trial method if you want. I have already made a video on that. Okay, but in this video, I'm gonna be using a trick which I have already shared in my previous video. Okay, so first of all, I will suggest you that you should try to balance it by your own and then watch this video. Okay, so how we can begin? Yes, first of all, let's write the alphabets here. So we have A, B, C, D and E here. Okay, now the next thing is that we have to make the equations out of it. So how we can do this? So let's take copper first here. Okay, so we have copper Cu. Now, on the reactant side, how many copper we have? One. And what is the coefficient? A. So we have A here. And that is equals to, now on the reactant side, how many copper? Yes, only one copper. And what is the coefficient? C. So A is equals to C. Let's go to hydrogen now. So now we have uh, one hydrogen on the reactant side. So simply B and that is equals to, yes, now find out the hydrogen here. Yes, two hydrogen. And what is the coefficient? E. So two times E here. Okay, now let's go to nitrogen. So again, only one nitrogen here. So B here and now C where we have nitrogen on the product side this is the product side right so see we have n okay let me explain you this so we have this see no3 whole twice what does this mean it means that there are two nitrogen right so it means that there are two nitrogen and three times two three times two or we can say six oxygen Okay, so N multiply by 2 which give us 2 nitrogen and O3 multiply by 2 which give us 6 oxygen. So I hope that this is clear to you. Now, so nitrogen on the reactant side we have only one nitrogen, B was the coefficient and nitrogen on the product side, so 2 nitrogen and C is the coefficient. So 2 nitrogen and C is the coefficient. So we have 2C but that's not all because here we can see that we again have nitrogen here. So we're gonna put plus sign here isn't it and then 1 nitrogen D is the coefficient so simply this okay. So we have these three equations one more is left which one yes oxygen. So we have oxygen 3 oxygen B is the coefficient. So 3 times B, now that is equals to. So I have already explained you this. 3 times 2, 6 oxygen, C is the coefficient. So 6 times C. Now here also we have oxygen. So 2 oxygen, D is the coefficient. So plus 2 D. Now again, here also we have oxygen. So plus simply E because there is one oxygen over there. So here we have these equations, four equations. Now we have to find the values of A, B, C, D and E. Okay, so let's do that. So first of all, what we're gonna do? We're gonna find a compound which has the highest number of atoms in it. So here we can clearly see that CuNO3 whole twice. It has the highest number of atoms among all the compounds involved in this reaction. So we're gonna take or we're gonna choose this compound and now what is the coefficient of this compound yes it is c so from this we're gonna assume right we're gonna assume that c is equals to one okay so we have assumed that c is equals to one because this compound has the highest number of atoms in it okay now after this what we can see now take the first equation here now we had a equal to c now since c is equals to 1 we can write this it means that a is equals to 1 isn't it so we got the value of a 1 okay 
Now, let's go to the second equation. Now we have b is equal to 2e. Do we know any of these values? No, we don't, right? Now let's go to the next one. Here also, we know the value of c, right? So what we can write this as b is equal to 2 times 1, right? 2 times 1 plus d. So it's simply b is equal to 2 plus d, okay? So now we're gonna leave it as it is. And now let's go to this equation. Now here also we know only the value of c here. So we can just simplify it like this. 3b equals to 6 times 1 which is 6 plus 2d plus e. Okay. So we have this. Okay. Now let me write this also here. Now you might be wondering okay so what's next right what we can do now here we are stuck but we are not we have to use our common sense here so look at here we have b is equals to 2 plus d b is equals to 2e so what does this tell us it means that 2 plus d is equals to 2e right so see b is equals to this b also equals to this it ultimately means that these are also equal to each other. So here we got 2 plus d equal to 2e. Now here what we can do, we can either put the value of d or we can either put the value of e. Okay. So from where we can get the value of d or e. Okay. So let's take d only. So from where we can get the value of d here. Yes. We are going to take this equation okay so how we can do this okay let me write this here we had 2 plus d equal to 2e okay now we have to find the value of d from this equation so we need d so we're gonna okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna take d and we're gonna take everything else on the other side of the equation so we have 3b now 6 is getting plus here so it will get minus so minus 6 and e also is getting plus here we can mm, subtract it and that is equals to 2 times d okay now one more thing we can do here is that what is the value of b here see from here we can get the value of b which is nothing but 2e right so we can put the value of b here so so we have 3 times 2e which will give us 6e isn't it so this we can write this as 6e then minus e then minus 6 equals to 2d now 6e minus 1e which will give us 5e then minus 6 equals to 2d and in order to get the value of d we can take this 2 on the other side here it is getting multiplied here it will get divide okay so here okay so here we have the value of d what is the value of d 5e minus 6 upon 2 now we can take this value and put this in our this equation okay so we have 2 plus now in the place of d we're gonna write this so we have 2 then plus now instead of d we can write 5 e minus 6 upon 2 equals to 2 e okay now what now the next step is okay so keep the 2 here only and take this 5 e minus 6 upon 2 on the other side so we have 2 e minus 5e minus 6 upon 2. Now, in order to solve this, we have to take the LCM here. So, we can assume that this is 1 here. So, what is the LCM? 2 is the LCM. Okay, 2 is the LCM. Now, I am hoping that all of you know that how we solve this LCM here. So, what we are going to get on the numerator side? Yes, 4e then minus 5e 
and then see we have minus minus which would become plus okay and this is equals to 2 right here now this 2 is equals to this now we can solve this further so 4e minus 5e which will give us minus e okay and we can also take this 2 on the other side so this 2 is getting divided and on the other side it will get multiplied so 2 multiplied by 2 will give us 4 and we have solved this which is giving us 4e minus 5e which is giving us minus e and then plus 6 okay this is minus e now take this 6 on the other side so 4 minus 6 equals to minus e we got minus 2 equal to minus e and finally this 2 will get cancelled out these signs will get cancelled out so finally we have the value of e okay so e is equals to 2 so e is equals to 2 from this we got the value of e here okay so now i'm gonna rub all of these and then we will continue okay so here after doing all this we got the value of e which is equals to 2 okay so now we have the value of a c and e now two more is left now it has become very easy so now take this equation so we have b is equals to 2e now we know the value of e which is equals to 2 so we get 2 multiplied by 2 which is nothing but 4 so b is equals to 4 okay now take this equation b is equals to 2c plus d okay so now b we know that it is equals to 4 now 2 times c which is nothing but the c is equals to 1 so 2 times 1 is equals to 2 and then plus d now take this 2 on the other side it will get subtract so we have 2 equals to d and finally we got the value of b and d as well okay now we are done but one more step is left yes we have to put the values of a b c and d so here we have this equation cu plus hno3 giving us cu no3 whole twice plus no2 plus h2o now just put the values of a b c and d so what is the value of a 1 we don't need to write it what is the value of b it is equals to 4 the value of c it is equal to 1 we don't need to write it now value of d which is equals to 2 and value of e that is also equals to 2 so here we have the balance equation and if you want you can check this also and it is definitely correctly balanced okay let's check one copper one copper great four hydrogen and here also two times two four hydrogen okay now four time n four nitrogen now here we have two nitrogen plus two nitrogen total four so four here and four here as well great now let's come to oxygen so four threes are 12 oxygen here now let's come to product side so here we have three times two or six oxygen then we have two times two four oxygen and then two oxygen okay let me write this so here we got 12 oxygen now from here we got three times two six then plus now two times two four oxygen and then plus 2 times 1 which is 2 oxygen so 6 plus 4 plus 2 which is nothing but 12 so our oxygen is also balanced right okay so i hope that all of you understood this by the way you might think that this is complex equation but it wasn't right we just need to use our common sense here that how we can use these equations right so after this this is our balanced equation thank you very much for watching